All right, we're back. Small technical difficulties on my part. Sorry, sorry about that, people. If you, we're gonna give y'all a few minutes to get back over here, find out we back up and running. Come on in, come on in. Hopefully, if you're on Kojo's channel, I don't know how I can get you back at this point. Uh, let's see. We are back live. Sorry about the cutoff. I try to link them back later, both platforms later. Um, hopefully, y'all back with us. Come on in. Come on in. Let us know you're here. Can't interrupt my good brother. He's in prayer right now. So we're going to leave him be. <laughs> Yeah, midnight mass. But if you're in here and you're in the comments, please let us know that you're in here. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And um, I'm sorry, I lost my people at Kojo's. Let me see. I put it in in his um comment section. In his comment section, yeah. We're back. Yes, I do apologize. In the process of me getting my power back on, I switched over too soon and it cut us all the way off. <laughs> And the funny thing is because I was in the background of the studio. So I'm trying to figure out how it cut us off and I was still on here. So I'm like, what? So I accidentally cut it off. And sorry, and you was in the middle of a good thought, Seaway. I was, but I think I'm trying to see. I put in the comments, but I don't know if people are going to look at that comment. They may. You don't see the one I made? Let me see. You can't get back into the live, huh? Because I, I, it look, it took me out of his live too. I yeah, had quick. Live. <laughs> it took me right out of his live, so I couldn't even. I can't even go back and try to post in the live. We are back. Anyways, we're back. For those that's with us still, do apologize. We had a little technical difficulties over here on the West Coast, but we're back. But yeah. Yeah, so I see your to comment subject. too. Back to the subject. We'll get them back when they come back. I don't know. Okay. If y'all are here, do a favor and just write a comment in the uh in that other on the uh Kojo's live and let people know. Because the more yeah. comments I think see just drop yeah, a if comment you're in, in, if you're still in his live if you still have access to both lives if you're still in his just leave a comment over there if not we're gonna get back to where we was here but back to it we was talking about amy and divulging the information early jessica oh jessica true jessica. i'm stuck on the amy name now <laughs> jessica and yeah, talking about it. out early yeah, I think we were just kind of saying like it was a lose lose based on the fact that she was very well aware that she was going to be at a disadvantage. Um, oh, and then I was, yeah, 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 thank you. I was, thank you, Miss Demina Joe. I was saying that it's it, the age of her child is also that weird, awkward stage where I feel like it's like the most awkward to enter. I feel like a man or any person like would rather deal with like a two year old because that's cute and new and you could kind of like you know, farther enough where hopefully the person is gone, but like young enough where you can enter their life or, you know, I may just want your kid to be grown so we can be besties. But a 10 year old is kind of, that's an awkward, that's kind of a big ask. And I think she's aware of that. So what do you do? I can't judge her decision. I think it was a lose lose for her. Um, I personally, I personally still feel that she shouldn't have waited for the question to come up because that's what she was kind of waiting for the kids question the do you want any do that kind of conversation and that may never come up like it didn't if she really had to put it out there herself so i think she if she wanted to come up sooner or 
or should have had that come up sooner, she needed to ask that question herself or got somehow a way of how do you feel about stepchildren or raising other people's children or whatever, even her conversation about herself, because her story of herself was an interesting story and it would have led to a great segue to, hey, how do you feel about raising another person's child? Because that was her situation. So that would have been a best way, I think, probably is to lead with herself. And that will soften a person up just a little bit to be a little bit more understanding on her whole situation as far as I too have a child and I'm asking somebody to be a bonus parent. And his own sister, I mean, I do think it was kind of a test of how maybe if she would have said it earlier, it wouldn't come off that she was trying to hide something. Because his mm -hmm. own sister, I mean, talk about the type of mother he had. Yeah. I mean, you don't find people like that where like a stepmom really is like, look, I'm not a stepmom just to keep the man. I am a stepmom to death do us part. So something happened to her dad. I'm taking your child. You know, mm -hmm. that to me was powerful to hear. And so he understands the positivity and the just the beauty behind pouring into somebody who may not be your biological child. So perhaps she could have said it earlier, but I just think the risk was, why would he pick me yeah. when he has access to all of these other women in her head who have less baggage? Then she finds out that she going to get somebody who was married for five years and ain't love him. <laughs> I was like, child. I, I would more say I would more say the other women are unencumbered. <laughs> yeah. Because we know we know how the conversation happened before with the description of kids when we when we did ready to love. But um I it's only that. in I like did. yeah, it's only in Love is Blind like Brazil where there I saw that there were people who had even teenage children. So, you know, but this this um this american love is blind has never had a parent appear before mm -hmm. and it's tough it's tough it's tough because you have to it's a kind of a balancing act when it's too soon you don't want to scare them away but you don't want to feel like you're withholding information about your kid so for for me, even though he was raised in that environment, you know, his, you know, response with it was a little different. But we'll get to we'll get to that when we get to that episode. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I it was a catch twenty two, like we all said for her. You know, damn did she do, damn did she don't. It worked out in her favor. So we know for right now, you know what I'm saying, that he's didn't shy away, he didn't run away. He's has similarities to the story and he likes her enough to kind of like work through the process you know but i i know i i, I want to go episode by episode but i feel like jumping around is a little bit better because if i go episode mm -hmm. by episode you about to get all these notes okay <laughs> i think i think talking about their story on the whole is probably yeah, makes more sense yeah, and, that's what i was gonna say so i wanted to episode, stay with him but i do think not saying that I'm condoning it because y'all know how I feel, but I do think love is blind. Opening it up to people who do have kids is more representative of what's going on in 2024. And this is probably more realistic, her situation than the other situation, because I think sometimes you get either people in their mid thirties who are unencumbered, right? But some of them are kind of weird because <laughs> they have either like no life experience, no nothing, or you have like super young people coming on Love is Blind um, who probably shouldn't be getting married. So here we are, you know, a, a person her age with one child, that's becoming the standard for a lot of people. So I think it just makes sense for Love is Blind to kind of move this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, I mean, go ahead. 
well, we're talking about their story. Hers was, you know, I was like, her story is very dark. Her her parents, how she was raised, um, going through foster, coming back to the parent, one parent, going into foster care. You know, if her foster parent did not um, adopt her, she could have lost custody of her daughter. It was a lot of like ripples or waves or like undercurrent. I was like, girl, when did you have a moment to breathe and just be a teenager? Yeah. You know, when did you have a moment to just relax and, and have some kind of childhood? It, it seemed like everything, that's why she's so strong. And he mentioned that she is forward with him. She is, you know, very upfront with him. He can't hide from her. You know, I'm like, when did she? Ha- when does she have a time to just relax? The question is, when are you going to have the time to just relax going forward? Because if you decide to get married, now you have the new relationship that you're involved with. You have your daughter. That's a whole transition that you have to put into place. And on top of it, if there's babies involved or you both want to have children going forward, how much time do you guys spend together as the three of you before we decide to introduce a new one in there? I mean, I get it that the last 10 years, she's pretty much been her and her daughter. So that's been her time a bit. But as a person that had a child in my 20s, Fun time wasn't as fun as everybody else's 20s, you know, and it, you, you start to do it a little later when the child does get a, of age. And now that the child is in a, a age that you feel comfortable with leaving it, like it, but leaving your child with other people that you can trust to be like, hey, listen, you'll be able to tell me if something happens because you're old enough now. Now you're walking into a new phase of life. So... She scared me when she said the comment of, if I present myself well, no one would know the chaos that is at home. That was scary to me. Mm-hmm. So it could be chaos. Thought. I understand I understand what you meant. Um, my, my, my husband has the same sentiment as a foster kid in a wonderful foster home. You don't want that you do something and maybe, you know, somebody gets upset with you and you're, I hate to say tossed back, but you're, you know, sent back into like a group home or so. But for me, I just saw that even with the chaos at home, she will put on a good front. This is a good point right now. You was going to say something, Seaway, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say this point and the point that Christy K said was actually what I was moving to next. Um, But first with the pin comment, let, let me do the pin comment last. I'll do that last. Mm-hmm. But my my next thought was going to be, to me, and I think this is the reason why people with kids have not been on this show or married at first sight for the most part, I believe, right? To me, there's something off about marrying a person or getting engaged to a person that your child hasn't met. And I think that was part of the reason why they also were not on the show because you have a whole person that you need to consider that you're about to do a lot of stuff. And that, I mean, maybe the 10 year old, if they get engaged, will meet him before the altar, but that's really quick for a a child, you know, Um, that part is, yeah. And then to the other comment, I think, um, yeah, she said that her daughter is like her proudest thing. I just feel like when you're a mother of a 10 year old, that's going to be a big part of your life. They're going to sports and music and this and that. It's a lot for a person who doesn't have a kid. So he's going to have to really figure that out. And that that's my thing. Like I, for me, I, me, if I was in this process, I would have to treat this process like I do the real world. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm definitely telling you up front because I just need you to know what you're dealing with. You don't have to see me. You don't have to like me. You don't have, you, you don't have to take, you don't have to take the time to get to know me anymore. If that is your, for, not for you, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. But I also agree with you, see where I probably would never be on this show because I do want to know that my kid does 
have their own love and respect for the person that I'm planning on being with, especially if my child is of a age of thinking of their own. If my child was one, maybe two, you know, early age, I probably can do this show. Wouldn't worry about it because they're kind of too young. Not, I'm not saying they're not young enough to understand what's going on around them, but they're a bit too young to really understand the dynamics of this person entering their life. But at 10, they got to say, they kind of got to say, you know, and I, me personally, I just can't have somebody that I just personally got to know within a few weeks really being around my child. And that's just me because it takes a long time to even get in, introduced to my child's life, especially when she was of that age. I talked to people for like years before they even see my child. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. To each his own. And I, and my only thought as going forward is we're going to see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Cause I just feel bad that she had all this stuff going on in her life at such a young age and she got caught up, you know, with the life that she was living. It's no surprise, you know, with the lack of support, guidance, parents, it's no surprise that she ended up having a baby at 18. There was a lot, it seemed like there was a lot going on. And I'm just happy that she seemed like she had a child with a person who she knew well enough and is still co-parenting and is still involved. That's really good. But... <clears throat> She seems like she had a really chaotic upbringing um, and she's really looking for a constant for her and her daughter. Cause it seems like when she was talking and I hear this a lot and I know a lot of single moms kind of talk this way. It, they're not just looking for them. They are looking for a person that their daughter or child deserves. They're looking for stability. And that's what I got from her. She's like, we deserve this. She's rooting for us. She's rooting for me. Um, I think she's really looking for that constant and there's nothing wrong with that, but that's just going to be a lot of pressure on this new guy and the right one will step up and do that. But I think that's what, I think it's bigger than for her. It seemed like it's bigger than she's just looking for love. It seems like she's mm -hmm. looking for a stable family for her child. And I well, think she that's did. because, yeah. I, she did say that the her daughter's father was her home base. They yeah. had known each other for a long time. So I think correctly, see where as you said, she's looking for a new home base, someone that is, you know, her rock in their life. And I think that's why she was so calculated about when to share, because this is more than some fleeting fairy tale situation for her. She's looking for something serious, something, a home base, you know, something like that. Um, and so I think she she tried to handle it with care. I just think most of us all agree. Sometimes you got to get it out the way because you want to mm -hmm. just rip the bandaid off because it's either now or later. Just just get it out the way. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the fact that we kind of don't know. And we know it's further into their relationship, of course, but we don't know how many days in the pod that she actually had this conversation. So if this is day three, then I won't hold her so hard as opposed to maybe day six, seven or eight. You know, day three is first day we got to know each other. Day two, we had a little bit more conversation. And I actually like you now that I actually like you. Let me tell you five, six and stuff, I'm already in a relationship with you in the pods. <laughs> By this time I'm in a relationship because you have narrowed it down to pretty much me and maybe one other. And that was his case. That was pretty much Jimmy's case. And I felt bad for the guy because he had a rough day that day. <laughs> My guy had a rough day that day. He went from this bit of information to find out his other connection was married at 18 for five years. And I kind of felt bad in this whole set scenario with Chelsea because him having so much uh, dumped on him that earlier that day just had him stuck for words when it came to her. And it made it seem so much worse than it was. And then Chelsea started putting it all on her, like 
why did I share this, that, you know, you get all these questions in your head thinking that she did something wrong. And it was like, sis, you didn't really do nothing wrong. He just having a long day. She did. She was out there crying and admitted, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he just said. It's like, well, why are you crying? And, and you know, sliding down the wall. You, you said you don't know. Don't give a reaction to something you don't know. My issue with Jimmy, with Jessica, was when he was, like, cracking his knuckles to see how she is to get her mad. I'm sorry. It, it seemed to me that the, most of the men in this were testing the woman. They were just testing them. And some foolish tests. Yeah. I'm with him, though. I don't need to learn that you was married and had a baby five weeks in. <laughs> Today, five weeks. I'm just saying. Like, come on, y'all. My man was like, listen, can y'all ask me, do I do I have the capacity to hold any information before y'all jump your shit on me, please? <laughs> tell me, tell me, ask me first where I'm at, because today has been a day. My heart is all over the place. My guy was like, what the hell? He's probably like, my picker is all the way off. My picker is all the way both off. Of y'all, because they're both showing the bigger, the bigger issue between the two of them is that they both were doing a lot of impulsive things or doing things at 18 that may be an indicator of differences between you two. Like he seems like he had a more structured background and you got one person who getting married at 18 and another person having a baby at 18. It's like, that's what, that would be my like aha moment. Like, okay, let's back it up real quick. Let's figure out what's going on. Um, at least though, we got a good story for, was it Jessica? Was... Who? <clears throat> Jessica is the one with the baby. Je uh, Chelsea is the one that got married. Yeah. Chelsea. At least with the, yeah. At least with Jessica, after she was done telling her story, I was like, child, I'm glad it's just one baby. I'm glad that's all that happened to you because you had a lot going on. Um, and I felt like I understood her story better and how, how things happened. The, the other one with the marriage at 18, and I don't know. I don't know. Chelsea. I don't know where they're at, though. They could yeah. be in the South where people be getting married. I don't, I don't they're know. North, they're in the North Carolina area, so. They're in so Chelsea, Chelsea also, you know, I think she was crying because she was kind of spiraling because I think she believes he was judging her for her mm -hmm. not having a degree. You know, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in her life that she probably felt he was judging. And now on top of this, you know, I'm a divorcee in my 20s. So I think Chelsea was, you know, her own internal struggle she put on him. But Jimmy doesn't. But right speak. after he says, remember, right after he was like how proud he was to be first generation to go to school. Then she her first response was school wasn't for me. So. <laughs> I don't know. He was trying. I feel like he was trying not to sound like I'm judging you, but he was talking about how proud he was that out of everybody in his family, he was the first one to go to school. And she's like, "Yeah, I don't know. School one for me." Okay, Alexa, we ain't about to start this argument. <laughs> <laughs> now wait, men don't. Men don't. Men no shouldn't. I shouldn't say don't. Men shouldn't care about your money, but there are people who may care about your degree. That's not true. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it depends. Okay. It depends. Yeah, he had a lot going on that day, but I was, I was. So, am I'm looking over my notes right now between the two, the three of them, technically the four, because we got to add Trevor somewhere in there when, when we get to talking about Tre Chelsea, but. These two women right here, first of all, Jessica says she's not, she agrees with uh, Jimmy of not being scared of rut, rut, this rush process. However, you scared to divulge the information of your child. Sweetie, we can't do both of those. Okay. And then you got Chelsea over here talking about she ready to be married. Girl, you need to add again. <laughs> add married again, because you was already been married once. Okay. Like <laughs> you needed to add again on there. You made it seem well, like you ready to be married. Again. It didn't love the man. This is the second season in a row. We keep being people who get married and never love them. 
and then they're admitting to it. Keep that to yourself. Well, you know what? The way that she admitted it, and so we're going to segue over to Trevor a little bit, because I like the way that she admitted it or whatever. And he helped. He helped in the, at, in that process of it because he was like, you know how you go through stages and you think you're in love and you don't have nothing to compare it to. So that softened it for her. She was like, well, that was the situation because, you know, we were young and you, th- you we thought we was in love. But it's like, girl, some people have been married since 18 19 20 and still to this day together so it's not about just being in love it's it's just sometimes when we start going through the transition we find out we want more than what we signed up for she did say she just wanted to get out of her parents house is this though is she a flight attendant too yes this is our other flight attendant so they need, to, they need to pay the flight attendants more. I was just I on they, TikTok and they said the new flight attendants are like rooming up in rooms and in houses. Yes, so you gorgeous. have to. Like they're not paying no money. No money. Yeah, yes, you have to. My mother is a flight attendant. They are, they are called crash pads that they rent like dorm style. Yeah. So these pods was nothing to her. Okay. Anyway, I just feel like <laughs> I just feel like there should be, there need to be more questions asked, especially to Chelsea's situation. There needed to be a lot more questions asked about her situation. Is was this your high school sweetheart? What was you running from? Why you just wanted to get out to your parents' house? Because that's going to play a lot into going forward with you because if things get rough with us are you going to be ready to up and pack your bags and just move out and move on you know are you just a runner period because to choose a flight attendant after just marrying somebody to get out your parents house you like to be on the go sis you're not really stable so i hope these men was in the pods asking more questions and we just didn't get to see them but i doubt they did while she was talking with Trevor, all I heard in the background in music in my head was the Jack and Diane song with John Cougar Mellencamp. That's all I was hearing. Well, we on the star, the star love of it all. <laughs> According to Trevor, that's what he called this related. It was not a triangle. It's a star at this point. OK, a um, star David, I guess, because we got both triangles going both ways. So, um, because <laughs> everybody was sliding down walls for everybody during this situation, and I was just like, "What is happening right now?" Okay, because Chelsea talking, because she coming to the thing with Jimmy and telling him how she don't want to hurt nobody feelings, but then to proceed to overshare and almost tell him, almost to the point to say, "I'm in love with you." Say everything, but I'm in love with you to this man. And then proceed to have another date with Trevor later on that evening where she going sliding down the walls again. She liked them walls. I think she likes the attention. Because every time somebody says something to her, she was... girl get yourself together sis because we just we are you are you serious for round two are you serious to be a wife again for the second time are you actually serious it's not given that you're serious about actually being a wife that's i'm sorry it's not given that right now that's how i know that these men are asking the right questions like elsie was saying because to me, him thinking that baby was a bigger bomb than what Chelsea was saying, you're not really listening to what she's saying. Is that baby more of an inconvenience? Perhaps. Is she going to be a bigger life inconvenience for you with her, her flightiness? Yes. You're not asking the right questions at all. And I'm dying after Crystal said up there she didn't commit to school or that marriage. And I am screaming. 
She ain't committed to nothing. Um, in response to the last comment, um, Brittany's actual middle name is Karen. <laughs> so we do have a Karen on the cast. We do got a Karen on the cast, baby. So, and she and she's the one with um, Kenneth, mm -hmm. principal. Yeah, but we, we're jumping all over. We're on Trevor. We on Trevor, baby. Our 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 meathead with the low IQ Muscle, in his thought. Muscles and mullet. Mm hmm As he thinks the women, the women thinks of him as a low IQ meathead. I was like, do they tell you this, or they just, are you assuming that they think this? That's his assumption. Five things that make him. you smile. Five things that make you smile. His dog, that's named Chelsea. And Chelsea's dog is named Trevor. I didn't know if she was joking or not, but I wrote it down. <laughs> I didn't know if she was just trying to be funny or not. Two, sunny days. Three, butterflies. Four, the notebooks, a walk to remember. And five, fresh cut lawn. And all I heard was Ferdinand the Bull. That's all I heard. Ferdinand the Bull, butterflies, the lawn, the sunny day. We we rewrite in Ferdinand the Bull. I thought Sean was saying Bruce Jenner. Oh, who's Bruce I'm Banner? Here. It, it's the Bruce guy that Banner plays the Hulk. Hulk the when he's not green. Yeah, but there's a guy that actually played the Hulk, and he did look. Yes. He did look have that same haircut and everything. He did look like him, Sean. You're not wrong. Just cut the mullet off a little bit, little just bit a little, a little taper. taper it off. Mm -hmm. It's a young taper in the back, and yes, you you definitely on him, Sean. That is definitely who he was. I kept looking at him. I was like, he do look familiar, like somebody, and I couldn't figure it out. And you figured it out for me, Sean. That is definitely who he looked like. Well, Chelsea it's went to beauty school, so she she could she could cut it for him. No, she like it. But then, mm -hmm. but then she's a she's a wedding planner. She did her first wedding, so we're gonna give her that. She got hers, okay? She, listen, we got people that we got people who are fashion designers with six runway shows under their belt. She got her first wedding under her belt. That's all you need is that one. One to get started. You are on your way. She is on her way, okay? She wants to be she listen, we're gonna give her this. She's trying to transition from non-stable to stable. So who planned her 18-year-old wedding? Oh. Somebody that inspired her to start doing this. <laughs> that was the next question. Next <laughs> Listen. So where are we moving from from Trevor? So, AD was the next place. Yeah, let me talk about <laughs> I'm talk about the, other, the other triangles of it all. Yep. Mm. Okay, before we get to that, because that was an interesting triangle. Before we get to that, let's get some little people out the way, okay? Because we okay. had John, Johnny and Amy. Okay. That's our first solidified engagement, okay? Mm -hmm. I remember nothing from them, but I will wish them the best. Well, she's from Amy. Puerto Rico, and he could, he hasn't traveled outside the country. Mm -hmm. That was all. I all, that's all I remembered. I was confused. Yeah, he had um, her, her brother. Her brother. She wished for her brother because sisters would steal your clothes. Mm -hmm. and oh she wait, wants who's the one with the with the special needs brother? Her. Is that her? Her. her. Mm -hmm. I remember that? Okay, that's her. Yeah. So the way Johnny explained how he and his um siblings shared the bathroom was hilarious to me. <laughs> to As an the... only child, I don't know. I don't know. Who had the same one the in the shower and that one at the toilet? <laughs> he is two of four or whatever, and she is one of two. So there's that. Um, now, this was interesting because she wanted to make sure that anybody that came into her life was okay with her brother. And I, I, I you know, uh, it would sound weird, but as she continued to go on and knowing that he has a disability that she feels like more than likely she would be responsible for, for him going forward. I said, oh, OK, I understand it. 
we're going to see how it goes when he meet the brother. Because if you remember, uh, what's the my movie called? Something about uh, Sarah? Was it was it something about S- Jessica? What was that movie called? Something about, something about Mary. Was it something about Mary and yes. her brother? <laughs> her brother didn't take to everybody. <laughs> so we're going to see how Amy brother takes to it because everybody... Look, I'm not I'm not about to try to make fun of nobody. I have I have people with special needs in my family and stuff. And they do not take to everybody. OK, so, Johnny, I hope you have a good heart because they will find you out. The brother will definitely find you out and expose you. So you better be up here with true intentions and really understand what you're signing up to for as you're going forward, because taking in any family member. At any point is not an easy task. Johnny reminds me of um, Silence of the Lambs when Hannibal said, you know, about Clarice, I hope your parents won't both deep rollers when he was explaining the birds that just dive to the ground. Johnny seems like he just dives hard, fast, and just, he he doesn't have a stop. He doesn't have a pause. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a a break. It's like he's throwing himself into this and he's going to fall all the way in but he did he had some lines that i liked and one of it is you know he's not a finished product but he likes what he's becoming you know the the bad person i am at times i saw that real dark i'm like how bad are you and what are you what are you trying to get what is better what is what is becoming that's the first thing i was like johnny is scaring me you you were nice light and airy before But you're scaring me now like you don't like you're not a finished product it's like okay well how rough around the edges are you because they haven't had an argument and i haven't seen anything but i'm hoping he just stays as pristine as he is but i doubt it my other problem with him and the the comment he made is i don't care for when anybody says you make me want to be better i think it was him that said that you should make yourself want to be better, regardless if it's kind of like for a person or not. But you should be wanting to do that for yourself. Never should you be doing it for that person because you're never going to live up to it. Because in your heart of hearts, you don't really want to change. Because if you want to change, you would be doing it for yourself. So I always look sideways when a person says that. You know. I I don't mind when you come later on and say, you make me better. You make me feel good about myself, this, that, and the third, but you make me want to be better. That want part in there, it should be all you. You inspire me to be better. That's fine. (laughs) But do you actually want to? Do you actually really want to, or you just want that person? And so you want to do it for them. So, yeah, like you say, that dark side is going to creep out. We're going to see. I hope it don't. Here's my problem. Other problem with Johnny and with, well, I can't say, well, it's only Johnny we've seen propose. Johnny, Johnny dear, why do you propose in a T-shirt? Because she can't see him. Are, Are we? No, 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 no. Let's get back to the fashion of it all. He proposes in a t-shirt and jeans. She no, wasn't even dressed. So go ahead. I was gonna say go ahead. She wasn't even dressed to, to receive a proposal. When I tell you I was just at Ocean Prime tonight, and they're gonna call me elitist for this too. So here we go. I was just mortified by the attire of people in there. Now, they were particularly our people, but it wasn't just our people in there. If you're going to Ocean Prime and these people are trained to do fine dining, they're going to give you the fine dining experience. Why are you in a pelly coat? Why are you in a puffer coat? Why are you in a hoodie? And then, and then, these people, sometimes at least the girls would dress up in the dudes are in Jordans, hoodies, patch jeans, puffer coats. 
it's almost like post COVID, our brains got fried, and like now we just don't know where what what is appropriate attire to dress up. I'm not so I'm not surprised he wore a t-shirt. I think because people are not going to church anymore like they used to. Like people just don't know what's the attire for nice restaurants, for proposals. But see where he could have put a blazer on over that t-shirt. They don't feel like they he have could have to wore anymore. some slacks. But I mean his he could have worn I would have no problem if he wore the production photo suit. Because he had a lovely suit. But it to me, it was like, did, did production even know or did he even know that he was going to propose at that moment? Because it was ill-prepared. Emma still... It's given he didn't know. I, I the whole The whole proposal of it all was giving me ill-prepared. Because I kind of didn't realize that that's what he was planning on doing in that moment until he started saying, I'm a fall person. And here, I'm going back to his picture real quick because he did have a blazer on, at least in this picture. Hold up. I mean, he had, he had a button on. down. He had the jeans on and he had a blazer. We gave him one of the top dress when we looked at his picture. So that's straight suit supply. Like he's giving us jeans, a nice sports coat, white. Like he looks, he, that's well dressed. He could have worn that. He could have worn that instead of t shirt. I'm sorry, button down shirt at the very I minimum. Think he proposed on impulse. I think so too. But why? It's, well, production never showed us that he had a romantic rival, that he had to rush and do it. But he did ask her for two promises. Tell him right away when he makes a mistake and just be yourself and let it just be them and nobody else. What does he mean by just be them and nobody else? Because if we got to go back to he's not being perfect and he can have these dark times, what do you mean just be us I, and nobody else? It screamed isolation to me. Mm -hmm. which is a stepping stone to possibilities of other stuff. Okay, so listen, listen, Johnny, if you can hear us now, um, Netflix and Love is Blind don't need no more cases. They don't need no more cases, okay? They got enough. They dealing with enough right now. We don't, child, look. Fix it. Anyway, yeah, who, who's another colonel you wanted to? No, 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 because, you know, it, we're already on the late shift anyway. And so the, the thing that's really about to take us all out right now is this other uh, triangulation of it all. Because <laughs> I'm going to say Matt was triangling his way through some things. OK, Matt was doing his thing. So Matt, A.D., Amy, I mean, Amber and Clay. And let me put this in this order. Clay, A.D., Matt, Amber. So we know the connections. Clay okay. is with A.D. A.D. is Clay's with fine. Matt. Matt is with Amber. And yes, I agree with you, Seaway. He is very good looking, nice, tall. And okay, baby. I was like, thank, thank you for the eye candy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Netflix. Thank you for once. Thank you, Too, lanky. Too lanky for me. That's all right. I, I'll be all right with it. I'll be all right with the length. You so know. what 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 would the deacon say about his necklaces? <laughs> Which deacon, deacon Sean? The deacon did about his business. Okay. First of all. <laughs> I saw his pearls. What was on his necklace? He had some necklaces on? He had some pearls. He had some pearls. Yeah, and I know we're that. About to go to him. We're about to go to him right now. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. I'll see it. I got you. I'll see it. Okay. We go. We go to it right now. Okay. Here we are. Yeah. We go. We go zoom back here. Okay. He pretty, pretty tall. So I can't get them all on the screen. But hold on. Let me try to get that thing out the way. Let's see if I can zoom into the necklaces of it all. Oh, this thing ever want to pop up every time it comes to his face. Y'all, I got some haters. 
Mm, so that's he, interesting to us. He got, he got, I, I can't quite make out if it's supposed to be diamonds or pearls, so, you know, but you know. No, in one of his conversations, he had, he had a pearl, he had pearls on. I'm saying it in a particular way because I don't want to, you know. Now Sean um, going to let have, us have our fantasy with the Have dude. the pause. What the hell, what the hell um, Sean going to allow us our fantasy? Wow. Okay. Sean right. just mad because they didn't give us, they didn't give the dudes nobody look at. He felt like he didn't get no no eye candy. AD, 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 AD is not eye candy. Am I confusion? AD was giving a lot of eye candy. You I think AD, yeah, AD is body yadi yadi. Uh, body's great. <laughs> this is true, Sean. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, with all that crying. All now, that crying. now. Oh, now. We have to allow the brother to cry, right. release his emotions. No, He's never had no. therapy. Who is the we? See, y'all be killing me. Y'all be saying, we got to let them cry. We got to understand how the men feel about being sassy. We, no, no, no. Who is the we? I'm going to find the we. Nintendo. That's the only we I know. <laughs> Nintendo and French that I don't speak. <laughs> Yeah, no, I wasn't a fan of his attitude either, baby. That attitude threw me. And Sean is right. That that attitude would have sent my uh my sassy Leo all in full effect. Shall I say what now? <laughs> how you my thing is I wouldn't mind the um, I wouldn't mind the the vulnerability as El Cid is trying to say we gotta we gotta allow them. I wouldn't mind the vulnerability, but it's the roller coaster for me. You go from coming in there yelling. Then you ask him for the um for you trying to get the skin color, the body size, the eye color, the hair color. Then with all that, then you find out that she's trying to date a little serial killer, allegedly, supposedly. <laughs> then you get mad at that. Then you want to come and start crying. It That's was a, a whole comparison. You gonna go from this to this, like, this? like what now? That man don't even talk. That man look like he killed rabbits. You really gonna be with him? He was pissed. That insecurity popped out real fast, baby. I was like, ooh. One, he did not think he had a rival. He thought he had her in the palm of his hand. He thought AD was his to control. He thought he was a puppet master. He did not realize she had her eye on someone else as well. And someone he didn't even fathom was in the sport or league he was in. And that's his problem. I called him a, a baby player. He can't even see. He saw he saw Matthews quiet in the corner, don't talk to the man much, get his drink, walk out the room. He think Matthew ain't nothing. Matthew is a is a big first time of, player. First of all, see, was I wish Kojo was, was here now. Him. Right. I wish Kojo was here now because as much as he was talking about how Koshia's tears was manipulation. Oh, my guy was big time manipulation up and this up and through this thing. What? He was big time manipulation up and through this thing. He had flipped the script. I was like, oh, you don't watch Tuka play this game a few times. Because he transferred that energy real fast. He said right his back. daddy told him to be suave. I don't know. He missed a couple of days in class. He missed a couple of them <laughs> sessions. The way he started <sighs> pacing around that room as soon as he found out she had a a, a, a number two and when he it's when he get her they gonna, he gonna be he not gonna be happy they gonna they gonna i don't think it's gonna work he gonna be upset his pacing showed me the rage that was happening inside of him when he started pacing i said it's not gonna be good and he let it out he let her have it i felt like the two of them are doing what they do out in the real world Mm -hmm. They're picking the same person and they're going to end up with the same result alone. But she said it. She all said, she said it. She was like, you triggered me because this is something of my past. Yet that should say ding, ding, ding. To hell if I don't leave with Matt. To hell if I don't leave with you. Because I came for something different and something more. Something better than I had before. He spazzed and said, if I see you tomorrow. I was like, dang. Dang. <laughs> I 
No, I would have clutched his pearls. I would have clutched his pearls. Like, excuse me, <laughs> if you see me tomorrow, boy, you don't. First of all, you ain't even seen me yet. So, uh, let's let's slow down. <laughs> let's slow down. Now, if you're not in this pod tomorrow, that is on you, boo boo. Because I got options. I've got options. I don't know about you, and I think that's why you're a little bit salty because it sounds like you don't have any other options. And you've been baking on your looks all of this time. What lashes? What lashes? <laughs> I don't mention her lashes. Her, oh, her speaking lashes. lashes. Baby, I'm not worried about her lashes. Then things. I'm glad she didn't cry them off, child. That's all. Oh, I wasn't focused on the lashes. I was more bothered by the sewing. That was what was bothering me. I was bothered by her saying that, you know, for red flags, she just paints her fingers red. Yeah, that two. That three. You, you matched the red flags? They said they said they too were distracting. I was just I was distracted by it, that that sewing was pissing me off. She said when she sees red flags, Jay. She paints her nails to match. Yeah, that 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 is. So it. did she come back in with red flags the next day? She should came back in with red flags after he stormed up out of there that day. Instead of sliding down the wall because he got mad because she had options. That's what y'all supposed to be in here doing is vetting people. And so in in the uh, guise of vetting people, I have options. I'm not only dating you. Don't get that confused. I'm dating 14 other people or however many other people is up in here. And because you're not finding out what's going on on your side, don't take that out on me. If you can't figure out that Matthew has had somebody else in here because he don't want to share his information with y'all, that is not my problem. But the fact that he ain't sharing his information and making sure that she ain't sharing her information. <laughs> I was like, oh, I see you back. I see you, player. Because if anybody will play up in here in the real world, Matt, my guy said, are you going to go share this with anybody? Are you going to tell anybody what I told you today? And she fell right into the trap. No, I'm just going to bask in it for right now. He said, oh, thank you. do you guys think he was an actor? Because he does seem like a weird like plant. No, I think that's just his energy. You think he's just weird? He come from a town of 600 people. Well, he acts like that. I have to he say, and I, I have to say and admit that in a dating sense, I have been diabolical like Matt, like Matthew. For, for, why? For fun, Elsie? Yeah. Control. You and you're not going to play me. I'm going to play you. Okay. So I, I saw Matt. I saw Matt the minute he said, you know, even um, Superman, you know, Clark Kent was his, you know, um, other half. The way he said it, I immediately thought that, okay, you're scaring me. And I could see different things he was doing. But then mm -hmm. I, he had me second guessing because the way they edited him, I said, okay, why am I seeing dark in this man that hasn't shown me much of darkness? And man, when his darkness came flying out, I was like, yeah, I I looked into Matt and saw who I used to be in my 20s a lot. I'm surprised you didn't see that darkness because when he said he got a list of 15 questions, but he was not prepared to answer any of the same questions he had, nor any other questions anybody else asked him. The girl, one of the girls asked him, how was your day? And he was like, yeah, no, I, I'm not about the emotional. But what, right, what made was, him all of a sudden start talking to a... a uh... AD. AD. Because she asked That's him first. He, the way we saw it, he never got to ask her, you know, pick a question. She immediately jumped on it. She immediately asked him first. Mm -hmm. And okay. he opened up. He didn't he didn't get to use his playbook right away. I got you. Child, when that man said, pick a question, the girl said four. He said, No, too many people answered that question already. I said, What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I said, oh, that's he, what I know as player, player, player. He about to be a whole problem. He said, I just came here to ask the questions. I didn't come to answer no questions. So, um, yeah, no, this ain't going to work. And proceed to walk out. I said, oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah. What do you and want? after I, all I of thought... that, he wanted Amber. 
No, he said America likes an underdog and America is going to be on his side and America will understand and he's got to leave. I don't think he wants Amber. I think he wants a perception of a story. Mm -hmm. I think he wants to be Zach 2.0 mixed with um, one of the, um, I can't remember the other Uche. guys, but he wants. He wants that Uche, Uche was trying to clean up his narrative too. Right. He wants like, oh, I left the pods to chase the girl and let it be the narrative. Because he kept on saying, oh, if I propose to you, it'll be the best day of your life. It will make your day. Everything was what the woman perceives she wants. Man is diabolical. I'm, yeah. Ooh. I can see why he could be seen as a plant, but I just really think he was, was more so worried about his image than he was about anything else on this show. But he did want Amber. I ain't gonna lie. I think he really did want Amber. I don't know enough to go chase her off the show. Mm, the Death Star in me was like, you know, was this just to slay the Black Queen? I I, I don't want to think that of him, but that's that's exactly where my mind went. He could have been. Could have been a little fever. The teacher excited, excited by his little fever too. He finna had a principal, so he's the principal. Yeah, she said the teacher, the teacher, because she was a teacher. But yeah, oh. the, the principal, oh. the principal was excited by his little jungle fever too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> his 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 first bunny. Carry he on. Can't wait. Ooh, he where is Doctor Umar? Where is Doctor Umar? Says, <laughs> she right. Hey, look, she right here. Doctor Umar is right here. She right here. Go on, Seaway. Tell her. It's my first time. I'm so excited. She ready to it's climb that tree. She ready to climb that tree, baby. But yeah, I yeah, this 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 mess. I mean, their mess is obviously continuing, so we ain't even get to four. So they're there, we haven't figured out how this is going to end, at least with A D and Clay. Matt has apparently checked himself off of the show after the institution. yeah but to go back into a little bit of this with amber and ad how did you ladies feel like those two ladies handled the situation between them sean be quiet <laughs> <laughs> but anyway how y'all feel how do y'all feel like amber and ad handled the situation that matt was you know run, copying and pasting taking Corey's playbook and and hitting them with a little copy and paste i love the way they handle it i'm just i'm just so happy that um amber stood on business and went home i like the way they handled it because the first time the woman came back i was like why are they sharing all this information and just yapping at the mouth and then it seems like when they made their picks they kind of got quiet i do like how they handled it but matt as a great player he didn't tell them exactly the same he didn't copy paste everything you know one of them he got the phone call from the mama the other one got another story you know he made you know just enough that it wasn't exactly the same so he was he was playing the long game. I do I do like how the ladies handled it. They it was very mature. We did not see anybody hiding behind the cabinets trying to listen in on a conversation. We didn't have anybody crying on the other shoulder and not know the full story. So I do like all in all I like how the ladies are handling conversations and knowing who or not knowing who the other person is feeling. Mm-hmm. So Amber, she was excited about Matthew and she was just running off at the mouth. And that's how AD found out. AD withheld her composure in the moment, just heard her out, didn't sit there and be like, oh, he said that to me, didn't do any of that. She went to him, confronted him about it. He manipulated his way back into talking to her again or whatever. Then she came in crying and, and 
within trying to explain the whole scenario between Clay and everything. That's when she let it be known that the fight between her and Clay happened because of Matt and Amber happened to be there. And there was one thing Amber did that I like or whatnot. And it sounds a little bit weird because Amber was like, oh, had, I'm sorry. I, I just overshared too much information and I probably messed up whatever you had going on or whatever. And I, I like how AD went back and handled it. It was like, no, 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 you, you're you fine. You didn't do anything. I like the fact that both of these ladies didn't intentionally try to be like, oh, he said this and that. You know, they just started saying, oh, he said that. And I was waiting to see if AD was going to be like, oh, and did he say this, that to you or whatever? She kind of just listened and she started saying some of the stuff he said. And it made them both realize he's giving us the same spiel. Literally. It was sad that Amber had to check herself out the situation, but I guess that she didn't have anybody else to fall back on, but they did it real cordially. You know, um, you are there to look for love, but like Amber said, I kind of made a bond with y'all. If nothing came out of this, it was going to be the friendship with you all. Um, they hugged it out, went on about her business. And I think AD actually felt genuinely bad that Amber had to leave, leave the whole thing. And I like how she checked Matt in that process. Are you upset? Because you sound upset. Are you mad that Amber is gone? Or that you I know your play? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Because at this point, you're kind of giving me a, uh, you checked out too. So stop trying to give me this extra of like, no, 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 we can go forward and all this stuff like that. Because you came in here crying, bro. You damn near left your book in the men's lounge. <laughs> I'm weak. Not the book. <laughs> did, did we did we see tears, or did we did no. we see eye drops or tears or any kind? <laughs> okay. But he was red in the face, a little puffy. So I don't know. I don't know if he was just mad, or if it was hot in the room, or if it was cold. I have no clue. Like everybody said, they can't rematch. He ain't he been anti-social to most of them. They were surprised when he sat there and was like, no, in a joking manner to one of the guys. So who knows? Let him run off to his woman. Hopefully she takes him back for his sake, but I doubt she will. Hopefully she's still standing on business as Seaway say. Because America will, America will love him and his story. The underdog. You made yourself the underdog. Excuse me. He's not the underdog. He is. The he made himself Amber. the villain. Amber is the underdog in this whole situation. And he the villain, which was his choice. <laughs> these lashes off my face. Y'all talking about lashes? Maybe want to get rid of my own lashes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am. But the chat has requested one more before we go. They want to talk about Kenneth and um Brittany just a little bit, child. We barely the seen them. Bit. Yeah, the principal. Yes. We barely seen them in episode three. They seem like. Let me start with the nice thing real quick. While I got a burst of energy, they seem like they' about to be a, a nice little Christian couple. They have very. They have Christian values, and they're both educators, right? Um, yes. Big on family. They seem like they actually have a lot in common. To be honest. Outside of the Dr. Umar jokes, they seem like they have a um a whole lot in common, which is probably why I didn't get on him too bad, because I can understand why they connected. It seems they they their value system seems to be aligned. So yes, their faith, what their jobs too, um, their thoughts on intimacy, you know, that wait until marriage. They had a her lot thoughts, of stuff. Her thoughts, rewind her thoughts. He disagreed. He with said him. that was what he said. That's what I wanted. So, so and Jay she just leave. Was stocky. Stout, stout. Oh, stout. Okay. <laughs> I was like, girl, you can say husky. Husky is fine. <laughs> or puffy. How she? How she guessed that he was husky? He got a husky voice. A he does sound like it. Yeah, a little. A little. But um, I, like, I don't know if y'all noticed, but it wasn't until she decided to somehow come across the ethnic part of him 
that mm -hmm. her body language was her leg was shaking unconditionally, <laughs> uncontrollably. And I was like, sis, are you really sure? What did she think he was? He sound black. I'm pretty sure she did, but I'm just like, the thing is, it's not that you're not sure about this person, but are you sure that your family is okay? Or going to be okay with this person? This is being your first person of, sounds like color. Both ways, on both parties' ends. So it's not just one way, but both parties' ends. But we know that some outside races outside of our own are not as accepting. Now we we our own people sometimes is a little funny too, but we be a little bit more lenient. No, not they, according to them. They say they say black women give the, give them hell. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't be over there. Anyways, but we in North Carolina. We in the Carolinas. So what part of the Carolinas is your family in? At first, I thought they were trauma bonding. I did too. Who identifies okay. as a black man, Alexis? He said he identifies as a black man? Get out this dang chat. <laughs> Get out the chat. Look, they got some good points. I'm trying to figure out who's identified as a black man. When she asked him about his ethnicity, she he didn't, didn't want to say. Right. He was saying his his family his family basically identifies as that because they were tr they're trying not to divulge that much information, but she's asking a direct question, so it's kind of like, how do I say it without just saying yes? He's another gotcha. gentleman that proposed without a suit on. <laughs> Lovely white sweater, but it is not proposal. I'm gonna say what everybody else say. He's young, El Cid. Give him a pass. He's twenty. He's twenty five. He did seem very old for twenty five. He was not lying about that. <laughs> he definitely seems like he's been here before. And he wants to do it his way. He's tired of everybody telling him what he can and cannot do. Okay, so I mean, with his maturity level, he don't act like a twenty five year old. Maybe he a whole school principal. He better not. Right, a whole school principal at 25. Where is this school? That's a good question. Dr. Is, this home, is this a home school? Because, you know, at 23, you're getting your bachelor's degree. Most principals I know have gone on to get a master's or even most of them is PhD. So 25. 25. He must be a gifted student. Let, let's let's use that story. He's a gifted mm -hmm. student. I like it. I like it. They did but he a... still didn't wear a suit to propose. But he wore a white sweater. Was that subliminal? I'm sorry. <laughs> of, of the day to come. <laughs> of the, the purity in my heart as I do go forth with this. That's what it is. Do you think they are trauma bonding for real though? Yeah. Ooh, she laid it on thick. And he did too. Because mm -hmm. it was a lot going on in that. And I was like, dang, you guys are very, very too much similar. It was both y'all what's this is the ones that want the twins right they want twins don't yes, like they, want, they both want two children so they don't mind the twins they both both their mamas was a twin both mamas his his mom passed and her auntie which is the twin passed which was quite interesting her dad passed yeah but her auntie was a twin that passed so i was yeah. like being the link in the moms as the twins they both lost a twin uh i can't say parent but a twin yeah auntie parent mom and the same thing and it she was, was born on her mother's birthday so the mother says that she has the mannerisms of her aunt that she lost the sister she lost so it's like she's a replica of the twin so her mother's never had a birthday alone no he said his mom was a twin right his mom is a twin i'm saying 
No, no, Alexis is saying saying that in the chat. I'm I'm answering Alexis's question. Yeah, he said his mom is a twin. Yeah, his mom had passed, but he said she was a twin as well. Yeah. Your chances of having a twin are high. That's for sure. Look at Sean being positive in the chat. Okay, we got to, because shoot. It's not looking too good for the home team, really. And because we've seen the previews before the episode ever aired, he did, he's going to be doing a lot of crying up and down this daggone thing. So, no, no, no. Well, yeah. remember, he's bringing, you know, he's bringing somebody new to the cookout who's never, he's never brought before. Oh, she is too. Right. To supper. Hmm. All right. This is going to be fun. The meeting of families. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that episode is going to be interesting, baby. Baby. I, they should have took that Johnny approach. It's, look, it's just me and you against the world, baby, from here on out. Because we're going to have the cookout at the lake. I, I'm going I'm to ask again. I just want to know what part of North Carolina is her family from and what part is his from because if they both from North Carolina I know we have transplants a lot of times but if they're both from North Carolina this could be an interesting meetup with the families are you from top of the mountain or are you from the valley below <sighs> it works the same in Tennessee you are right queen this queen won't quit they definitely need to be solid going forth these two definitely need to have a strong foundation between the two. So in the next coming weeks of their honeymoon and all this, they're going to have to get all them particulars out and have a coming together real strong because they're going to have to present strong to the rest of their family. They have a strong faith. That's a good start. That's definitely a good start. And, um, yeah, because, because he's like, um, worship leader and all. I hope they can uh, get a lot of prayers in because they're going to need it all. And I okay. hope she like him. You think she's going to like him? I hope what so. Think? I mean, she kind of knows all of his particulars a bit. I don't know, you know, if certain little details are going to be a problem, like the hair or... I don't know. It'd yeah. probably be the hair. That's the only thing I can think of. But that'll be in the reveal episode. Or if as much of the weight is going to be a problem, or the height, you just never know with people. You never know because that clearly, was like catch up, y'all figure it out, catch up. <laughs> right. No, I'm just saying. Clearly, Ch- Clay Clay needs to know all the details before he he proposed to anybody. So clearly, love ain't that damn blind for some people. So we are gonna find out if it's gonna be a problem going forward. Okay. She's walking on faith right now, so she better just take God's advice and just keep her eyes closed. Mm-hmm. Follow God. Go with God, my child. <sighs> Laura, Jeremy, Sarah Ann. <sighs> Jeremy was this. <laughs> <laughs> Between Jerry and Sa- Jeremy and Sarah Ann, I was exhausted, baby. It was, and I had it on a high speed to get through it. Okay, so it was they. They voice was, they was going fast for me. I was just like, Jeremy, sit down. He said he can be serious, but he don't want to. I, that was enough said for me. I said, Why are we here? Why are we here? You don't want to. This is a serious situation, and you coming into this place talking about, I can be serious, but I don't want to. And then we got Laura over here saying that she's helping Sarah Ann, but y'all going for the same man. I want I want to ask Jeremy why does he need um two of those vacuums running twenty four seven? Is this a little OCD? He said he had it. It's not a little either. I understand the no dishes in the sink before bed. I understand those things, but it was just the. It's giving the monk. Yes, that's why I said it's giving a little OCD ish. But I ain't I ever did. Seen him walk into the pod one time and start rearranging nothing. 
So I'm like, are you just talking? And, and I did, you know, he said he is renting right now a four bedroom house and he sold his previous house because he wanted that when he, you know, gets a wife that they will buy a house together. So she won't feel like she's moving in and living with him. Do we buy it? It's a good sentiment. I'm not mad at That's it. And see ways know where I'm about to go. And see way I'm gonna let you no, I'm gonna let you finish because I know where you're gonna go with it because I'm going there too. I'm not mad at it if this is a genuine thing. But if you're looking for a roommate and see way you can go ahead and finish. I mean, I was just gonna say, unless he just came up on a good deal. I know a lot of people were selling their houses in 2021 with the housing shortage because they was getting, you know, when people was buying all them houses. For all them super high interest rates, they were making a lot of money. But if you made all that money on selling that house when people were desperate, you should look like you you made a profit. Your whole life should look like you done made some type of a profit if you went back to renting. So I'm not saying it's a lie, but I'm you know I ain't saying it's the truth either. So, but if you're renting, why rent a big four bedroom house to be using all that profit? We could be we right. could be in a, a nice studio, one and bedroom. Get a whole, and then get a whole bunch of roommates. I mean, my gut people says that people just tell you anything these days, but I mean, I don't know. And now Alexa says, since he's on before, you don't we don't think that uh he's looking for a wife to go have on a new house with. We don't know if he's a 50-50 man. Who said go half? On, did we somebody say go half on a new house? That was me. That was me because he said I don't know if he wants to just somebody to go half on a house with them or not. Because, I mean, I, I I'm not mad at the sentiment because I do understand. It's like I want her to feel as comfortable in the house as I do. We pick it together, and a lot of people come together. They have their property and their stuff, and they leave their property, and we have a joint of a property of one together. That's fine and everything. But like El Cid said, why are we have such a big place right now if our goal is to have something better, bigger and better later on anyway? Now, if he got a good deal on this four bedroom or if he just rented from a friend, hey, do you, do you. I like space too. You know what I'm saying? But he and also, I don't know rent. it's like in North Carolina. He also said he never dated someone he was really compatible with. Another Leron, Lord Jesus. Because he's giving me party boy too. It's like, who are you dating, sir? Or are you dating or are you just hooking up? Hmm. <laughs> Trayman said, "How we go to fifty fifty? I don't. I this time I I didn't jump to the fifty fifty. So it was I in the comments. It was in the comments. I didn't jump to a fifty fifty. I just want to know if he want to go have a partnership in the home since y'all like to use that word in the well, home. That's, the, <laughs> that's the word. Man. Partnership. I just want to know the right word." If he wants to have a partnership, I didn't say, you know, he, I just said, you want to have a partnership up in it. You go half. That's still partnership. You know, maybe, maybe he need her 30 to his 70. I don't know. Oh, well, thank you for the correction, Alexis. If it was Laura who said she hadn't dated anyone who was compatible. Oh, she, she gives that. <laughs> she <Yeah>. gives that. <laughs> that the staring people down at the bar and dropping things to get attention. Yeah. Yeah. She I can see that. that. She gives that. She gives unserious too. It they almost when they describe their Christmas and all that stuff, I'm like, are they looking for a fairy tale family? I was like, when they describing it Christmas, and I don't know how she was like, yeah, I want these, I want all of that too with the family. And your description of it was sounding like you didn't, that you're quite all right with not having to go to places on Christmas and stuff. So I was just like, so confused. Y'all not aligning already. So she, here she go again, trying to date somebody. She's not compatible <laughs> with again. So, um, so I'm like, are you just trying to win over Sarah Ann at this point? Are you just trying to beat her out of the running? So you don't really care about Jeremy and everything. You just want to beat her in this race. 
I don't I don't understand. Because that's what it's given at this part, but hey. Sarah Sarah Ann wanted to make sure he knew how many followers she had on IG and TikTok, so he knew that she was appealing in looks. <laughs> We don't know if Jeremy has a pulse yet. They haven't met. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah Ann is so effing annoying. That's why I'm Matt walked out. out. I'm just trying to figure out how does that make you look great in someone's eyes that you have 4K followers. Because you can have 4K followers for a brand. You can have it for a number of other reasons. But number one reason that you have 4K followers is because I look good. That is not always a good sign in a man's eyes. Because it says that you're always seeking attention. And he's going to be feeling like I always have to compete with the outside world. And if he tells you to stop using IG and all this stuff, you're going to tell him he's being controlling and he's insecure and all of these things like that. So what was your end goal by telling him that? Trying to tell him what she looks like, that she's attractive. So if he's into IG models or he's into young ladies that um, draws a crowd, then she would be his girl. Now, which one was it that had the problem with men on IG? It was uh, Jessica, huh? She had the problem with the men on IG. Or Okay. Well, I hope he's secure enough to be okay with it because, you know, sometimes when a man gets with a woman, no matter how beautiful he is, he doesn't really necessarily want a whole bunch of other strangers just gazing at his woman like that he likes the fact that he got a good looking woman but he just don't want y'all looking at her all day sliding into her dms at any chance because she i don't talk to all of them i mean i get engaged but okay. 31 000, 000 on tiktok i did not like the joke about only fans he 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 asked a serious question mm -hmm. And she laughed it off. Luckily, she doesn't have the OnlyFans, but we don't know if that's the truth. And then, she a and then she's a conservative. <laughs> I was done. Yeah, they that. didn't align on that. They didn't align on on their views on the topics mm -hmm. that he brought yeah. up. Yeah, because then she wanted to start bending when 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 he when he was like. Well, I don't think I should be opining on women's bodies. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, I agree. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she lost the battle there. I was like, girl. Yeah. That's my point, African artist. And he going to be, uh, he going to be competing. Oh, wait, I poked up the wrong one, but he going to be competing. If the right man, and if he's not the right one or her one, guess what? she'll be moving on and she don't waste it all her time watching this show her choose this man and whatever because at this point it's given i'm on this show to be seen by some more people so i can get another four thousand people to follow me and he's not classically handsome and he looks like his um you know hair is receding and stuff at an early age so if he has any doubts about his image he knows but she also said she wants a man who'll take her picture uh-huh. We'll and then, the I don't know. Is it normal to be talking about all your your um beauty treatments? Are we got we supposed to be talking about your lip your lip flips and your Botox and your and your fillers? Is that what that's what she lost about? him to? That's I, I, what she I, lost him. Maybe I may I guess if you if you're looking for a sponsor to pay for it, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's that's what we're doing it for. Or maybe, I mean, listen, everybody's not for it, so maybe she's getting that particular out the way, like if you're going to be okay with a little filler and Botox. It ain't for everybody. I mean, at least she's getting her, her, her things out the way early. She want to make sure. Early. It's early. She's in her 20s. It's very early. But, you know, some people these days, they, 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 I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, she's competing with the IG models at this point. So you got to keep up with the Joneses. I'm trying to recall something on her, and I feel like it's her. 
because there was a sore point. Yeah, when he came back and said, "Yeah, I got two, I got fillers." People, <laughs> she, really need, people, people need to leave their face alone because it'd be really backfiring. Unless you got Chloe Surgeon. I'm gonna say this though: if he becomes a good cameraman. If he becomes a good cameraman, because I ain't seen some men that have some bad chicks, and I'm not gonna say that they 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 are ugly men, but compared to their chick, they subpar. However, they are their ladies' cameraman, they manager, all of this stuff like that, and it's working for the both of them. So it can work. That's what Miss Sprinkle Sprinkle be telling y'all. Can't work. <laughs> already. You know, they I'm just saying when we sit there and say the medium ugly, they want to be mad at us, but these men is getting these bad chicks. Just That's saying. just a few of them being triggered. The ones that get it, get it. <laughs> what were you thinking about with Suan? Sarah Ann, sorry. I'm trying to find it in my notes because it was something about her because I was just like, sis, you want this, that, and the third, but you also want to be in the public eye every five seconds. <clears throat> that you wanted the family and quiet life? Yeah. You, I mean, she is the one that got the brother that she might have to take care of, do all this no, and that's stuff. That's Amy. That's Amy, not that's Sarah Amy. Ann. I wrote that under, dang, I think I wrote that under Sarah Ann. I thought I wrote that under Sarah Ann. Y'all see why you need the pictures? It ain't just me. No, it's not. It's not. It's not the pictures of it. It's when I was watching the show. Child, I put it on. And they all, and they and all look them. alike. We need a picture book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was something about her. She says something, and I can't find it right now. So her short term goal was to find a man in her life. Oh no, that's what it was. She was the one who kept screaming that she don't want to be judged. Yes, but you're all over IG and TikTok. But she's the. You're concerned about your your eyebrow drooping, and a man can't see you. I guess she don't want to be judged by nobody outside herself, because okay. you're judging yourself by you're doing all these extras to yourself. You're judging yourself in comparison to the other women that you're competing with on IG. You want somebody to love you for you, but child, who are you? Because you have you have competing, conflicting resolves in your own situation. Like you're conservative, but you're all over IG. You okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna let people live. I'm gonna let them live. I think that's why people, that's why people was mad at Vern for the same thing. You you can't have a lot of people be kind of walking balls of confusion. Okay, all right. Well, we're gonna let them be. We're gonna let them be, and we're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna see. We still got three more episodes to get through this week. Okay, because this is only this we only want fourth in. We only want fourth in. <laughs> but y'all should have been done with her when she's a, when she Asian talking about she's a patriot. I don't even think she understands how she needs to understand how funny that is. Has she taken a single history class? But she talking about she's a patriot girl. That's why I'm laughing at her. If anything after I'm a patriot and you're Asian to me, I'm scream. I'm crying. What are you even talking about? Okay. We agree. Or at least I agree. She's confused. Poor baby. Yeah. She wasn't allowed. All right. Well. It's the Botox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes like you get no work done. You, you, think, you think people can't see you. You think you look. In, no. People can see you. Yeah, she definitely trying to be white passing. It ain't working That's because if is. I can see it, the white people definitely can see it. Because I was looking as soon as she said "patriot," I had to. I got closer to my screen. I said, "Ma'am, what are you talking about?" That's why you asked if she was uh, 
what ethnicity we saw her at. Yeah, I'm like, wait, am I missing something? I was trying to figure out maybe I missed something. No, you you don't miss it. You didn't miss it this time, and you don't miss. Usually, even, you don't even, miss. Even Clarence Thomas ain't gonna get up and call himself a patriot. Even he know better than that. Come on now. In my notes, I'm going back to Matt and Amber. Matt had told Amber she picked when she picked four. Tell her to pick another one, and she still was after this man. Oh wow. Okay. All right. You said All what? Right. I just looked at my notes and it was Matt and Amber who, she, when he, she picked number four, he said enough people had uh, picked that question, pick another one. And she was still after this man after that. Okay, because I would have probably been done. Like, excuse me? I said four. <laughs> I read the question. <laughs> I don't because, care because he, he made her and AD feel like they were the catalyst for the butterfly coming out of the cocoon. He, he's good. I mean, Matt, Matt, Matt is good. I haven't seen a player like that in a while, but he is good. <clears throat> Diabolical. But. In the real world, in the real world, Matt is out here doing his thing. But child, listen, I don't know how he felt America was going to be on his side after the camera seen all that he did. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where he thought he was going to get that good edit. Who told him? Who who secured that? Which one of you in production secured that with that man? <laughs> Because he said, he I like can't, that. he's like, I can't lie. I'm on camera. I, I'm not lying. And he liked that man who was, who used his <laughs> teardrops to start crying. Yeah. They yeah. do this every season. They get somebody on there just acting for the camera. Did he think he was going to get the JP edit? I guess, I, I hope he was, I guess he was going for the JP edit. And that wasn't a good edit either. So I, I don't know. People are weird. Mm. These producers are just letting people air themselves out. They letting you hang yourself, and I love it. No spoilers, but I wonder if we're gonna see more of this man. I don't want to hear it. Don't you tell me. I'll find out. But I wonder. Outside of them coming back to meet each other at the outside time, but Lord Jesus, more Mr. Rabbit, Rabbit Killer. Mm. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's according to Clay. You know, Clay was in his feelings. We're going to leave him alone, okay? Poor little Clay. Poor little Tink Tink. The good thing is once, you, once they become public figures, the, the bar for defamation is quite high. So, For me, it's the reveals of it all that I'm looking forward to. That's for you, Seaway. And uh, to be honest with you, nowadays, most uh, Asians is re voting Republican because of businesses. Because of business aspect of it. But, yeah, I really didn't care if she was a Republican. It was her calling herself a patriot that pissed me off. Patriot that was really yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like she was doing too much. If you want to be a Republican, hell, sometimes I do, dealing with what I deal with in Chicago. I don't really care about that. But it was the, I'm a patriot. I fought, like, girl, stop. Oh, That's what annoyed me. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah. We anyway. don't have nobody to vote for in a second. So it ain't no matter who you voting for. We just going to be like. <laughs> Even on an we empty ballot, people voting election. for the empty ballot. <laughs> they go, we're going to be well, checking nothing because we ain't going to have nobody to vote for at this rate. Child, write yourself okay. in. You can write yourself in. Yeah, we both say. <laughs> y'all gonna have a petty one of y'all vote for me but you know what I'll make it happen for you I'll make it happen <laughs> you gonna be you know what we need to look up you know who we need to look up we need to look up if Governor Abbott in Texas is a Leo because that's what I need to look up Hold on, when's his birthday <laughs> no, he's, a he's a Leo I bet you he's a Sag oh lord Lady. No, that man, that man is Scorpio. Uh, then I don't know why I mean, he's well, they petty too. Yeah, because look, he borderline Sag. There he is. There he is. Yeah, no, he is Scorpio. <laughs> and I'm like, you gotta be you gotta be one petty sign to be as not petty Trey, as he was. I try still trying to help her out. <laughs> you talk about, our football you team. about the football team. Well, well, you know, AD is from you know Boston. She really get. 
They, I, I heard a few Boston Estonian accents up in there because Matt had it a slight weight too. I was like, oh, but he said he wasn't. He was he was on the countryside, but I was like, oh, I hear it though. I definitely hear it. Massachusetts has country. Mm -hmm. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's the it's the same thing. I can't call him Bostonian Bostonian because he's not from that part, but he had the accent still. I love the accent. No, I said not too much on Scorpios. Be easy on Scorpios for a while. And for a while. Uh, for a while. <laughs> the ac the accent scrapes at the ears of the New Yorker in me. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. El said, I love it. I love the New York accents too. Yeah, I know I'm here for all of them or whatever, but I love me a Bostonian and a Massachusetts. My friend is from Massachusetts. I love when he be talking and saying some stuff. Not Sean the bringing this, not Sean bringing the stingers to the chat. Dang. Uh, you want to go to war, Sean? You want to go to war too, huh? Like all the rest of these men's out here going to war. <laughs> Cause you know what a Scorpio, you know what a Leo gonna do to a Scorpion. Get out of our oh, face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A lion just gonna get out of the way. <laughs> Good plan. The ram, the ram in me is gonna just stomp him. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Baltimore accent too. That Baltimore. Baltimore. <laughs> You can't sting my paws, baby. That little, that little thing, that little stinger ain't gonna do nothing, baby. It's gonna be an ouch, and I'm gonna step on you. <laughs> yeah. And I got hooves. Trey, so. I don't know. You guys see Trey comment? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I agree. You think y'all think that? We talked oh, about that. Yeah. Ooh, child, we gotta get off seaways. She would take a nap just now for two seconds. Yeah, yeah but I, oh my bad, I was awake. I didn't even catch it. I don't know, Trey. I don't know what you expect. She's a she's a former sports dancer. <clears throat> That's what her job is to do is code switch to be around the rest of the team, the girls and the team. So I don't know what you want from her. You forget that we had this whole thing with ready to love already and stuff. So. My cousin is a former dancer. I've been around. She right now she got a voiceovers going on. And I'm not mad at her. Do your thing, baby. Know when to put it on and know when to take it off. So hmm, do you? But she also did say she ain't never dated white. I don't think so. I think she, if she did, if I, if I recall her saying that, I'm like, girl, don't lie to me. I know you have. She's, she's lying. And I'm not even trying to be funny because I'm a tomboy. I really don't even care about hair. But there's no way she's been dating a whole bunch of black people and around you. a whole bunch of black people. <laughs> I'm about to mute you. Going, I'm about to mute you. We're not doing that. She's okay. stuck in a pod okay. right now. Okay. She's stuck in a pod right now. Okay. No, She's that was day one. That was like that day one. Somebody did her hair like yeah. that. <laughs> She's stuck in a pod. It might not be some good hairdressers where she at in that part of town. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess Chelsea didn't learn that here in beauty school. The child, they 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 love to tell you they don't know how to be in our hair. So there's that. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, when she said she was a dancer and she didn't want people to see her for her, her body and, and all of that and stuff like that, I knew exactly where she was going. So I was like, all right. Um, I, was th I was thinking of the other um, sports dancer, that, but I was ready to love. Mm -hmm. I was like, please don't tell me you're going to be like her. I'm glad she's not so far so far so far so far next we'll three see. episodes next time we'll see we'll see oh, i'll see oh. wait i went to bed <laughs> rolled over on <laughs> <laughs> somebody said not on my watch <laughs> no 
not fire that hairstylist, please leave that lady hair alone, okay? Trust me, because shoot, if I go on there, y'all going to get whatever wig I bring with me, damn it, and I don't give a damn, okay? They can't see me on the other side of the pot. <laughs> no, they can't. The camera does. Yeah, y'all mess around and catch me taking the wig off. Be like <laughs> scratching in them braids. I heard, I heard her laptop died. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll be in them braids, child. I, yep. Child, the whole little, y'all see the whole little scalp. I would not. We get to talking in that damn pod too long. I'll be like, baby, look. Okay. <laughs> Well, the one thing I did like to see is that they had their names embroidered on the blankets. And uh, and on the uh, books. They right, but I didn't know the blankets. Every time it used to cringe me out that, that they was using I'm like, it. is that the blanket that was left in the room? Or did you bring that blanket? How do you know that's yours? The germs of it all. I was just, ugh. But now that's that I saw speaking. the names were on it, I was like, okay, okay. That's what I was thinking when I seen they all had the same color blanket. I was like, oh, oh. Oh, look. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, are y'all sharing? <sighs> My blanket would be, I'll be like Linus. I'll be like Linus with the blanket. That blanket going everywhere with me. I'm taking a shower with the blanket, baby. Look, <laughs> this blanket. Y'all will not. Y'all will not touch my blanket. The Shit. men too, their blankets were embroidered. I was like, okay, okay. And I'm like, is, is this, are they showing us little kernels? as responses to that lawsuit that's pending. Oh, you know, I was they like, is. you know, they is, you know, they gotta, I mean, but they always showed them cooking their own food. So they always showed that they ain't showed the bathroom yet. So we still, we still got to see if they had to go to porta potties and be escorted to that. So we still don't know on that part y'all. So the bathrooms, but I'm, it's, it's giving that they're filming within a building. So it's giving yes. to me that they're in a building. So I don't know how the building is set up and a studio set, uh, just yeah, a so, big old studio. So I'm not surprised on the portal party of it all. Cause if you ever been on sets before, that's pretty much where you have to go. You don't have bathrooms cause everything in, in there is fake. So yeah, you know, but yeah. Seaway, welcome back. Are you there? My computer died. No worries. Don't worry, because we're having all kinds of technical difficulties today, you know. Anyways, we done we done got through the first three episodes. We got three more to go, child. Ooh. The reveals. I know. You know what though? I'm not gonna lie. Once we start actually narrowing down who's with who. It gets a lot easier for me in the notes and all that. So I don't feel so overwhelmed. These first couple of episodes is always the roughest for me because it's just so much energy, so many people that we got to try to go through, weed through to figure out who's going to be with who. But now it's getting to the spot where people are choosing their people and it gets a lot more better. So, And that's the question, who's with who? Yeah, I really hope that what's the space Clay likes. Um, um, what's her name, A.D.? I hope we ain't got no problems with that. <clears throat> we'll see. No spoilers. No spoilers in the chat. I don't have spoilers. I just have what I've seen on the previews. And yeah. I just seen a lot of people sliding down walls. So there's yeah. that. <laughs> there was a lot of sliding and and a lot of waterworks going on. So, you know, it was raging waters everywhere. <sighs> And they, anyway, they're, they're at the meetup, which is usually a fabulous beach location. So there's water water everywhere. Mm -hmm. Water slide for everybody. Just slide on down, okay? Because that's what's about to be happening. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. because I, I feel like um, even though we got Amy and Johnny together, I don't feel Amy was as excited. As Johnny was. She was a little bit excited. She wasn't, she wasn't fighting it. She wasn't as bad as we've seen some people in the past. But like she said, she is never, she thought she would be with somebody of ethnicity. So it's still processed. Dark skin, dark hair. Yeah, it's still processed into her. But she also did say her dad did have a vision of her children having blonde, brownish hair. So could be a good well, sign. did she just 
Or did she just say that to make him feel comfortable? I'm going to take it as she was being nice. Okay. And that's what her daddy said. Okay. Okay. We'll wait till we meet her daddy. Anyways, I said any last words? <laughs> oh, you want to say something? See <laughs> No, I'm just saying. Oh, we. All right. <clears throat> I'm just gonna say that um, we're seeing a lot of more realistic dating. I guess I don't want to say characters, but personalities. Um, I am glad to see Jessica there, who is a single mother navigating this dating life. But with everything there, I think everybody is coming as they are. But just make sure that you come at least a little bit healed. At least a little bit. That's for the next season, because this season already came and they unhealed, baby. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> here well, we we are. saw what four we saw what four and five months worth of therapy did for Matt. And child, listen, this this thing that already that had, yeah that he got four or five months, and 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 Clay is talking about maybe he needs it because. <sighs> well, Koja can slip him his better help code. He can start with coaching with Coach Old Child because we need a little emotional regulation going on up in here. But you know what? That before we get out of here, because that's another going back to that same part, and I and I and I know exactly why you say he's like LeBron. That whole thing of idea of a man showing emotions or having any other emotion other than anger is a weakness. We got to stop doing that to our babies. I'm gonna sound like Miss Monique right now. We got to stop doing that to our sweet babies, okay? Because this is hurting them. This is hurting them right there keep telling them that having emotions outside of anger is a weakness. Showing emotions is a weakness. It is not a weakness. Not being able to control your emotions is a weakness that can be worked on. So I need him to go ahead and do a little bit of work, get it together. Because that was not becoming of that man. I'm so sorry. That was very unattractive. That took him all the way down. He was up here. I don't know where he at, Ronamo. That's for you, Elsie. He's too slim. I got it. But I'm slim, too, so it can work for me. But he was up here. No, slim aside, personality. He wasn't up there. Mm -mm. I was mm -mm. talking about look-wise. I didn't know. Oh, okay. That's what okay. I said. I don't know where he at now. Because that, that knocked him all the way down. Because he was on a little peg, a little high horse peg. And I was like, oh, you got to be knocked down a few pegs. But once he started ranting and raving, because he had a tantrum that he was being compared to Hannibal Lecter in the room. <sighs> I would have been ranting too. I'm not going to lie. If I find out that you 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 talking to the rabbit killer allegedly, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be done. I would have spazzed too. No, I'm not because you're, you. you're, you're, you're spazzing because all you have to give is your your looks. That's all you've been banking on, and so you're now doubting yourself. And he just hit that several times in that pot. What am I not giving enough of? But you don't have you really money. Like you don't have trouble. emotional regulation. He ain't got money either. Well, he said he don't have as much bank. That's what he said. He said something very similar to he may not have, you know, all the money you need. He may not have. He listed off a whole bunch of stuff, basically oh, baby, telling her how he can't love her in a particular way. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So, well, you know, there's that. You've been, love you've been banking off your, your attractiveness for too long, sweetie. For too long. And he said he was a late bloomer, so I'm like, oh, Lord. what, what, what how, Usually how, the late bloomers do better. They usually do. That's why I said, how is this working? Where is Milton when you need him? I don't know. I don't trust Milton still. I didn't say to trust him, but you know. He came through with some words for the for the men's that were running amok on their emotions. <laughs> <laughs>
Anyways, y'all, we're going to get up out of here. Thank y'all for joining us tonight. I apologize for the technical difficulties that we had earlier. If you made it over here for Kojo Channel, bless your heart. I'm glad you found your way down the river. We're, you know, we be trying, oh girl. It was a struggle. It was a struggle tonight. And I'm glad you guys are still here with us. If you have not hit the like button already, please do so. That's the le that's the least I ask. That's the least I ask. In a few days, because I just got my membership thing up and running, I'm trying to get these little things, perks and all that going for y'all. We're going to start kicking that on out and stuff so we can have some membership lives going on. We can have some little girl talk kikis. We can make sure the men ain't up in here trying to steal our little stuff. We could actually talk real to real, you know what I'm saying? Girl to girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm just playing. <laughs> We're going to have the beauty shop, as we like to call it. We have the beauty shop talk and stuff. We can't have a little Trey Max in there because Trey Max like to steal our little secrets and go back and try to apply them to his real life, you know. So we got to watch out for Trey Mac, you know. But other than that, I love y'all. We're going to leave y'all. Any last words? Y'all want to tell the people anything before y'all get up out of here? Before we get out of here? Seaway, you got anything? I don't. This has been, been a nice combo. Don't lie to us, Trey. You be trying to use our our, our secrets against us. I'd be watching you. <laughs> you already stealing people's shoes back. So there's that. <laughs> Trey being petty too. Oh, Trey love it. Trey love it. That's why Trey be here with us, because we all petty together. Mm hmm But anyways, okay. For real though, this time, because we leaving like black people at this point right now. We just said we was leaving about 10, 20 minutes ago. We are for real going to leave y'all this time. Love y'all. Please hit the like on the way out. And if you have, are you watching this on replay? Go ahead and leave us a comment down below because we like to hear y'all thoughts on who y'all going to think is going to be a problem, who going to make it this season, who y'all banking on, who y'all want to win, and who you just want to go ahead and go home besides Matthew. Okay. Love y'all. Bye-bye.